Today, frontline workers in central Indiana received their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. But as CBS 4's Kelly Rinke reports, it could be months before that vaccine reduces the illness and death. Today brought so much hope to healthcare workers after a grueling year, but the next few weeks will still be pretty tough. Experts believe a vaccine will not impact hospitalizations or deaths for a few more months. Pulling up in Indianapolis, a truck delivered hope to frontline workers. The first shipment of a COVID-19 vaccine was dropped off this morning. With no time to waste, IU Health began administering the doses. A vaccination here. Dr. Warren Gavin was one of the first to get one. That's it? That's it. You can't see the smiles, but you could feel the excitement. That small shot is bringing a giant leap in the effort to end this pandemic. It feels good. It's a relief. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it, but... I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I got it. Like so many of his colleagues, he takes care of COVID-19 patients every day. For 10 months, he's seen the worst of this virus. I've had trouble sleeping, uh, <laughs> you know, because I've been, been so excited about to get this vaccination. The vaccine comes after Indiana hit a record number of COVID-19 deaths in November. December is on pace to beat that. Right now, some of our projections are that we could see as many as 9,000 or 10,000 deaths by the end of January. That's roughly 3,000 more than where we're at right now. And the Regan Street Institute projects vaccines won't impact the numbers until possibly February. So it's really uh, not until we begin to vaccinate the high risk populations in early 2021 that we will start to see an impact on those uh, outcomes in the community. A grim few weeks ahead, but a step closer to the end is delivering hope in small doses. This vaccination today, is, it's, it's a big win. IU Health expects to receive 975 more doses tomorrow and an additional 3,000 doses on Monday. In Indianapolis, I'm Kelly Rinke, CBS4 News.